Why did Mount Kenya leaders pick Limuru town for the key meeting? Well, the town has hosted several other high-profile political meetings, with the first being held in 1966 when there was a big division in the then-ruling Kanu party, where Jaramogi Oginga Odinga quit the party to found Kenya People's Union. There have been other several subsequent Limuru conferences which have played critical roles in determining the country's leadership tonight. Clement Masobo takes a look at the history of Limuru conferences and their significance. Historical Limuru conferences in Kenya date back to 1961 when Jaramogi Ogingo Dinga, James Gishuru, Tom Boya, Ronald Ngala and others met and made a declaration to end the British rule in the country. Part of the resolution was to switch from Kenya African Union to Kanu and declare Jomo Kenyatta, who was then in detention as the leader of Kenya. In 60s, I think 1961, Viongozi wakati yule, wakati yule, tulikuwa na mkutano huko ya wazee wale walikuwa naongoza wakati huu wa pande ya siasa the first uh, remuru conference happened on the 12th and the 13th of march 1966 and it was convened by the late tom boya the second conference was held on 12th and 13th march in 1966 and became one of the famous limuru conferences the agenda in the Limuru conference was to tame the then Kanu party vice chairman Jaramogi Oginga Odinga. At that time, Kanu was divided into two. On one side were Tom Boya, Charles Njonjo, Joroge Mungai, Mbiyo Koinange, James Gishuru, Gikonyo Kiano, Mackenzie and Daniel Arap Moi. These teams supported the founding president Jomo Kenyatta. On the other side in Kanu was Oginga, Bildad Kagia, Oneko, Tom Okello Odongo and J.D. Kali. The outcome of the conference was to scrap the position of Oginga Odinga as the vice chair and instead have deputies from each province. Oginga was not happy with the decision and walked out of the Kanu party. He formed the Kenya People's Union, KPU, as an alternative party. It was also then that Kadu gained the popularity. Bamba Yaraira, Akari Akaenda, Akafufua. KPU, Kenya Pupils Union. Nayo, Isharaake ilikuwa dume. The outcome of that conference was the cutting down to size of uh, Jaramogi Oginga Odinga's influence in Kanu. The conference was basically a Kanu affair. And it was in that conference that the position of uh, Kanu's vice president was removed and it was decided that each region will have a vice president. After several years, there came another Limuru conference whose agenda was to discuss the new constitution, the case against the then deputy prime minister Uhuru Kenyatta and the current president William Ruto, as well as discussion about Kibaki's succession. In 2010, kulikuwa na kesi ya Hayes. Sio? Na tena ilikuwa muhimu sababu ya pia katiba ya 2010 ndio ilipitishwa huko Limuru. Na hawa sababu walikuwa na Black Hole Hayes akawa identified as future leaders. So Uhuru na Ruto wakasaliwa hapo. As a result of that and we have Limuru 3, convened by North Kenya party leader Martha Karua, Jubilees Jeremiah Kioni, and other opposition leaders from the Mount Kenya region. I have not found anything from my reading of the history, anything significant about the two conferences that I have mentioned. Na lazima tutambue Limuru kama shrine ya leadership ya Kenya. While the previous Limuru conferences focused on giving directions about the country's leadership, the organizers of Limuru 3 had indicated that they will discuss issues affecting the Mount Kenya region, including economic transformation of the larger Kikuyu community. Clement Masombo, KTA News, Nyeri County.
Now, Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni left the country after concluding his three-day state visit.